Hello everyone out there, Dr. Mark Di Pasquale, Dr. Sean Campbell. G'day. How are you mate? Yeah, doing all right. Very so. good, very good, thank you. Well, here we are uh, at One Health, uh, One Health facility, uh, once again with a update um, on some research that we've got. Also, we are gonna have a bit of a, an update on how the recent challenge went. So, um, we we'll get you to give us that doctor, which is good. I just wanted to um, just speak about this um, research article that has just come out. It's in the Chiropractic Journal of Australia, and it basically shows, or it's a case of a young child, a five-year-old, who had asthma for three and a half years. Um, and parents were struggling with it a lot, um, doing breathing techniques, etc. And one of the main things that they were coming across was four times a day they had to do specific breathing techniques and they were worried about what they were going to do when this little child started school. How would they start, you know, how would they be able to manage that? Um, so they, uh, they ended up bringing the uh, little child to the chiropractor and uh, within three days, massive, massive changes. So it was pretty awesome, pretty awesome case. Yeah, what I'm do you think? Oh, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once you uh, start getting those pathways lit up, yep. yeah, you can actually start to see some real changes in, in how everything's starting to function. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, a lot of people ask, well, no, the first question, um, or first thing that people are amazed by is, well, why would a child need to see a chiropractor in the first place? Um, generally, people think that um, chiropractors are for people with back pain and neck pain and those sorts of things. Well, actually, chiropractic is about getting the nervous system working properly and it's about keeping it healthy. Um, and we all have nervous systems, even the very young. And uh, one of the things we see quite um, evidently is the birth process can be the first time where uh, the neck, the spine, everything can be a bit damaged and that can actually impact on how the nervous system works. If the nervous system doesn't stay healthy, doesn't get the messages from the brain out to the body, well, then it doesn't work properly. So. I think there's a, a short saying that I like to um, use all the time is that um, if your nervous system is not working well, you don't work well. Um, now, um, full medication um, decreases as well. Um, after the initial um, chiropractic care, um, the little boy was actually under care um, regularly, um, or the mum was bringing him in um, irregularly, I should say, once a month, um, over a year. And in that time, he only had to have some of his preventative preventer when he was actually doing some sports. So that's a pretty good outcome for a little taker starting school. So that's one successful case for chiropractic and there are many, hey? Mm, absolutely. So Dr. Campbell, give us an update on the uh, latest um, challenge that yeah. happened through the, the gym here. How did it go? Uh, it was good. Yeah, we um, so we had the celebrations last weekend, mm -hmm. um, handed out the, the awards to some of the winners. Uh, so we had a nice focus on uh, muscle gained as well as fat lost. Excellent. Um, we had a few people with amazing um, amounts of weight lost in general. Yeah. Um, so I think we had 11 people who lost more than uh, six kilos. Wow. So we had um, the highest amount of loss was uh, just shy of 10 kilos. Wow, that's in amazing. six weeks, so yeah, incredible. Uh, there was a couple of people around that sort of eight kilogram mark. And yep. then there was yeah, about another 10 around that. Sort Fantastic. Of so, what an yeah. awesome program. Really now, you said something interesting uh, about muscle gain. Mm. How important is muscle gain when we're talking about weight loss? Oh, absolutely. Uh, so, right. um, people don't realize that muscle is actually a, a metabolic, like living structure. It, it yeah. has a lot more uh, important roles in the body rather than just uh, movement. Um, so, it will actually have an effect on hormone regulation, mm -hmm. it'll have an effect on blood sugar regulation, mm -hmm. things like that, as well as obviously strength and just general functioning mm -hmm. as well. So uh, one of the, the scanning that we do in the clinic measures uh, muscle, but also measures your metabolic age. So it gives you uh, the age at which your, your body is functioning um, from a metabolism standpoint. And the biggest thing that affects that is as we see muscle increase, mm -hmm. that is when we see the metabolic age drop the, the most. Fantastic, and yeah. that comes from the body composition yeah, yeah. that's the body composition scan Excellent. that we do. Now, most people out there will be thinking, well, I don't want to build up muscles. You know, I'm... Who doesn't want to build oh, up muscles? Build up. <laughs> well, us fellas do, but maybe the ladies don't. They just want to... I think one of the key things is they just want those scale numbers to go down. Mm -hmm. But they can't go down unless we have muscle content burning the fuel. Yeah. It's not a matter of building up muscle, isn't it? It's not a matter of being, being big. It's a matter of just having the muscles that we need yeah. to get through our daily life. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, look, the what we see um, when women start doing weight training anyway, they, they don't become bulky, they don't get large increases in no. muscle mass. Um, it takes many, many years yeah. um, to actually put on significant size with through muscle. 
Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend that, that all women should be uh, should be doing incorporating some form of weight training. Yeah, absolutely. So how intensive is the weight training? Is it grueling or is it like uh, is it okay? Well, it depends what sort of training, what their goals are, what they're aiming for. Yep. If you're just after a healthy, healthy body, a healthy lifestyle, um, then no, it doesn't have to be grueling. Uh, in fact, uh, we see much better um, improvements in, in the body when you have recovery days built in. Yep. Um, really, I, ideally, you, you want to work um, each body part, so each sort of muscle group, mm-hmm. um, about twice a week. And this will give you the best benefit for the least amount of effort. So we see if you work it once a week, um, you'll get a little bit of benefit. Twice a week, you'll get a huge benefit. Yeah. Three times a week, you'll get a little bit more benefit, but not as significant as if you're doing that, that jump between one and two. So two is yes. that sweet spot for the least amount of effort, but to get the okay. most improvement. It's just got to be consistent, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, consistency Very. is key. Yeah. Well, if, uh, if you weren't part of the, uh, the challenge this time around, there'll be another one coming up at the start of next year after Christmas. So. Yeah, we usually do one like, once school goes back. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll let everyone know when that's on and you can all be part of that because it's absolutely fantastic results. Oh, really good. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a way yeah, to do it. Changes. Actually, one of my favorite things in it, I was talking to someone afterwards and um, she'd lost about three kilos during the challenge and um, I'm like, yeah, pretty happy with that. Mm-hmm. Um, but she'd actually experienced some, um, for about a year prior to the challenge, was getting um, some issues with cysts. I okay. had some pelvic pain, mm-hmm. um, a little bit of acne, things like that, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, com- had complete resolution of those wow, symptoms. Fantastic. Um, the acne went away. Um, so yeah, some really powerful, actual like yeah, very good. things that showing that the body is just functioning much, much better um, once they start eating healthier and yeah. Yeah, yeah and one amazing. of the things, and that's, yeah, more, that's cool. even more important to me. Absolutely, yeah. and one of the things I really love about the program as well, especially all the staff here and the trainers are, are very good. The education. You know, it's all very good to lose weight and, and all that, but if you don't get educated on how to keep it off, how to continue to live a, a healthy lifestyle, yeah. uh, it, it's all not, not it's, it's useless. It's, it's harder. Setting up, it's setting up habits for, for the future. Yeah. So Absolutely. the staff here at One Health are, are fantastic. Uh, we put a lot of time and effort into it. We love it. Yeah, um, yeah so it's the best way to go. So next uh, challenge that comes up, we'll let you all know about it and you can uh, jump on board with that. Well done. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Appreciate it. Keep up the good work. And out there, keep living a healthy lifestyle. See you later. Bye.